by being memory? automatic. He what? plays by memory? No, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm surprised that he can do that at his yes. age and as yes. feeble as he is in his fingers to yes. go. I yeah. just, I, but he's very proud of it. He said he had a couple funerals that last time he was there well, in one week. that's wonderful that he can do that. I, it's just something else. Yeah, but. it is funny that he can remember when to come in and everything. How did you sleep last night? Oh, quite well, thank you. Good. Uh huh. Good. And well, you? Oh, good. Yeah. I always zonk out. Uh -huh. I can zonk out. Uh, Ruben went right to sleep, and he said, uh, he just wiped out. He put on somewhere from 11.15 to 11.30. I said, okay, oh, well, we'll, I'll keep an eye over there. Then. Well, we, I'll, I'll give you buzz when we drive Oh, in okay, so fine. Warning, how'd that be? Okay, fine. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, David. Yeah. Is Diane there? Yeah, she's standing right here. Is she okay? Can yeah, you just talk to her a second? Okay. Okay. How are you coming? Are you getting yeah. ready? Yes, I'm ready. All ready to go. Okay. okay. Ruben's just gone to the bathroom and we'll be right out. Okay. Okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Customer. Okay, thank you for calling. May I have your telephone number, including the area code, please? Yeah, 319-927-2904. Okay. okay, and your name, please? David Teske, T as in Tom, E-S-K-E. -E. Okay, and how many parcels today? There will be two, one AOD and one second day air. Okay. And, okay, and your zip code? 52057. One nine one oh seven. Okay. That's zone five. Mm -hmm. It's five pounds and that's AOD. I have the card. Okay, so that's two thirty seven. Two thirty seven. Okay. And then um I have a you put your own stamp on Yeah, I have my own stamp on it already. Thirty, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, my uh second day air is uh one pound. Okay, that's three dollars. Mm-hmm. Either of these valued over 100? No, they're all uh, replaceable, not over 100. Okay, is this the first pickup? Please? No, this is my second. I'm still waiting for the man to come today, and he hasn't showed up yet. Okay, that will be $5.67. $5.67. Uh huh, and you know, if, you don't, if he doesn't come pick those up, call us back tomorrow. Yeah, I hope he comes. I have to leave in a little bit, but I, uh, I, have, I can stick my tube that I've got today in the door and put a note out for him, so okay. he'll get that. So I guess I'll uh, wait for him again tomorrow, too. Okay. Thank you, Deb. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello. Hi, you're early. Yes. Oh, I was just lying down thinking of you. You were lying down. Yes, we just got home from Cedar Rapids. No, Dubuque. We just got back from Dubuque. And it's very, very hot and humid. And I have a headache. And I'm just wilted. <laughs> How is it there? Well, it's warm, but uh, not, not unpleasant. And uh, right now I'm sitting in my air-conditioned hotel. Uh -huh. Looking over the uh, Potomac. Uh huh. And thinking about you. Yes. Yes. Well, I practiced driving Dad's car today. I drove back. It's uh, you know what it is—a front wheel, wheel drive that um, Oldsmobile all power. Thing. It's very different from what I'm used to, but. I guess I can do it. If, can. Yes, I can. I can drive it. Okay, it's easy. If, if I feel good enough. If I have a headache like this, I think I'll have David drive. So, well, why should you have a headache? I don't know why I have a headache. <laughs> I don't know. You should rest. That's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, wait. Oh, no, no, I would no, no. I No, it, either it might have been the combination of the bourbon and the beer. Oh, my God. And the heat. 
I don't know. I woke up with it this morning, and uh, I was nine hours in bed last night trying to get rested. But oh, I'm I'm finding myself rather low in spirits, and it's I, I think it's because of uh, having this person in the middle between my father and myself and she's just always there and it, it's just so different it's it's so it's so much more uh, it's harder to get used to now than it was in October everybody was bending over to you know but um, he's just gone Well, and then, then, then he, you have to, to, to... Of course, I'm glad. I mean, that's not it. I'm glad that he's happy. Yeah, but, but then, <laughs> then you have to accept it. I do. I, I do accept it. It just, it just uh, reduces my joie de vivre. <laughs> and then my, my dad makes comments about Jimmy and Aspen, and I, it's just, it, it, it drags me down. And so what What do I do about that? I'm going to be sad my entire life. I, I wasn't, it's been two years now, and, and there have been many, many times when, I, when I'm not sad, but it's just this combination, I guess, this combination of my father being married and every, everything that we've had together in the past is, is shared now with her. She has to know all about it, and we can't, we don't want to talk about anything that she will feel left out of. And and then, of course, I think about you and your daughters and how young they are and how much they would resent me, how much they would resent me. Oh, my God. Uh, David just came home from his bicycle ride. <laughs> he just walked in the door. So anyway, I'm thinking about all those things, but I was up at 6 o'clock this morning, and I, I wrote the first entry in our diary, which was fun. Are you there? Yes, I'm listening. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm debating about whether I should try to reduce my hair because it's so bushy. It's this humidity. It just makes me look like a wild woman. I stop it. <laughs> wild woman. Oh, yeah. I yes. will let you see it the way it is. And then yes. and then if it is too shocking for you, then we we cut it. Maybe you no, can no. help. <laughs> shocking for me. And I haven't cut David's hair yet. And we all and and David just said that he would let me cut his hair, and you can video it. Okay. Okay. And you need a haircut, too? Just the front? Uh, yes, I do need one. Just the front. You had a lady barber do the back? Uh, yes, uh, somewhere, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. I think Lee needs some, some hair cutting. The bleed made some hair cutting? No, it needs. Oh, it some needs. Oh, 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 oh. That sounds a very interesting. Yes. I think that I would like to practice on that. Yes. Fine. Yes. But on mine. Oh, oh yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm wearing some shorts to right now and no bra. No bra? No. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And I wanted to find a dress in Dubuque today that would correspond to your requirements. And I think of so many dresses, light summer dresses, that's what you wanted, that I had in the past that would have been just right. And I don't have any anymore. And, it doesn't, it doesn't and matter. Well, yeah, it matters. And as long as I you want are. to have the dress on that you are envisioning me in. And it's not going to happen. As long as you are there. <laughs> oh, I'm, I will be there. Oh, how did it go today? 
with your your job, your business. Okay, I'll. Uh, I died. Already had it out of my mind, so don't bring it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm still thinking about what you said. And, uh, yes. I mean, uh, do you remember that that last morning at Aspen? I mean, it was the last morning at the tent. It, it started that same sort of mood that I have every time. It has, and you you were doing all the talking. I couldn't talk. I just didn't have anything to say. And and it, it's this this. I don't know. Dad was saying. He Dad said today. Oh, well, we had such beautiful times at Aspen. And, And then, and then he said, and, and nobody can take them away from us. Now he he says he's always said that uh, we've had it, and now nobody can take it away. But that's not really it. It's from one point of view, yes, that's true. But no, no, nobody, nobody knows, mother, uh, you, your feeling, and uh, neither your dad nor I nor anybody knows. Never. And David, David read something in the Manchester paper this morning. A 21-year-old Manchester boy killed himself last night, and he was found by his mother. Yeah. All these things happen all the time. It's just, just awful. But how do we carry on in this life? And then on the way home, I was... I give myself pep talks all the time when I feel like this. Of course, I don't like to give in to this. And I, give, I give myself all the pep talks you've given me, and I hear your voice saying, count your blessings, and, and these times make No, I don't want to say this lightly. Well, well, you have said it to me, and I agree. And you said that these times make the joyful times more joyful. And, no, I don't. I don't mean at all that. that, that that's superficial. I'm convinced that uh, that what you are experiencing is the, uh, the most unsurmountable, the deepest, which nobody else can can ever understand. Uh, I or, or, or comprehend and uh, and all all we can all we can do is is, is to support and, and to give you give you help uh, not help but uh, just just pressing pressing you and kissing you that's all I can. But this is so hard on you to have to endure that. Every time I talk to you, I don't tell these things to other people. You're the only one, and, and that's not the, of all people that I want to be happy with. You're the one who gets the burden. <laughs> that's what we're for, because oh, you're the you only just one. Have to have a light. A light. No, no, that makes our our joy in each other so much deeper. Because. Uh, yes. Oh, my darling, my darling. No, I know. I want to be your lover and to mean happiness for you. Happiness and romance and. All things beautiful, not, and I don't not. want to bring, bring you sadness. And well, I want to share your bad sadness. Well, it seems that you are. With <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to keep it from you. Obviously, I'm. Well, I'm burdening you, but I don't... But when you 
talked about my daughters. If they if they would take issue, I I would give them up. I, you are more important no. to me. If they cannot understand me, that I want you, then that's something they have to decide. I won't. I won't change in order to hold them. Yeah, well, yes, I. I know. I know that, but well, the, the thing is, on the surface, they can do what I'm doing. And yet I know that what they were feeling <clears throat> is probably many times amplified from what I am feeling because of the situation. I'm so much older. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to have some understanding and wisdom and tolerance and whatnot. And what do they have at their young age? And if I can feel this way, how much more can they feel? And furthermore, their mother has suffered. And I'm will be blamed for that, but yeah. but we don't need to think about it yet. Not yet. No, but uh, we we should we should go through that and uh, when I'm back there. When you are back there? Uh, 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 with you. And, yes, uh, uh, yes, all right. We will walk through the park and talk about it. All right. Okay. Okay. I it's love only you one. Yesterday it was two more days. Today is one more day. Oh, right. yes. Yes, and the couch is not cleared off yet. <laughs> and I, I practiced the piano for a half an hour today, and my fingers are stiff, stiff, stiff. And in, in spite of the warmth? Yes. Well, I missed three days of practicing. Yeah. And the house is not ready, and our eating is just we don't feel like cooking and I think our food is just going to be quite a bit different than on October our October it's okay. just so, it's uh, just so hot we've been yes, yes. Uh, uh, how about um, the Steve has a barbecue does he have a barbecue I don't know hmm. we could buy some steaks and do some barbecue in the yard I'm, they've never done that. I don't, I don't know if it would work. California. California. <laughs> yeah. Do you do that? Well, not at home, but everybody else does. I know they do it. Yeah. Now, we don't eat meat, so, so we don't uh -huh. really do it. Well, we're eating very lightly, and we're eating a lot of it. We're eating David's um, concoctions, and they're good. Yeah. Yes, last night we had uh, tuna sandwiches with sprouts and Swiss cheese and mayonnaise well, and right. lettuce. It was delicious. It was yeah. just right. And then um, another night we had his uh, chicken, uh, his frozen dinner, chicken a la orange. Mm -hmm. And that, I, I think you would like that. No. No? No. Well, it had wild rice and it didn't seem to have uh, too much no, salt. No, no, I, I don't like frozen dinners in... Uh, in Chicken in particular. And, you don't uh, like chicken. No. <laughs> okay, that takes care of that. Okay. <laughs> I brought some chicken recipes to try on you. <laughs> I won't do it. <laughs> oh, I thought your chicken I eat any time. Well, chicken is chicken. <laughs> change your, your, your thing? I don't know. I could try. Well, if you're not doing anything, then why don't you? I mean, you're just sitting, you've just been doing nothing there tomorrow? Well, I would, uh, I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't even thought about it, what I would do tomorrow. But you don't have but, any uh, business. But the you... one thing I wanted to do just didn't, uh, didn't materialize, and so I have really nothing to do tomorrow. You have no business to do? No. I may try to see Reagan, but uh, whether he wants to see me is another question. Really? Are 
Are you serious? <laughs> Do you mean it? <laughs> now I fooled you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I think that you, that you might have something to tell him. <laughs> oh. Well, Ansel Adams talked with him, and he didn't like him. He was talking about an environment. Yeah. Saving the environment. Oh, today there were tornado watches and severe thunderstorm warnings. Yeah, the flying is very uncomfortable. I yeah, I don't... I flew in here. It, it, it was? Yeah. You know, I wouldn't want you to fly in, in any weather like that. What shall I do? Shall I drive? Well, no. No, I mean, I mean, tomorrow might be worse flying than the next day. That's what I'm saying. Well, I don't know what to tell you. To, I don't know if I should urge you to come tomorrow or what. What do you think? I mean, about changing your your flight and everything. What what would be involved? Well, I could uh, call the airline and see how uh, how it shapes up, and uh, then I could call you back, and then uh, you pick me up tomorrow. And then you have to do some more uh, uh, exercising uh, driving with the car. Yeah. So that you are ready tomorrow. <laughs> now you can't sleep. Just for excitement. Well, I'm just trying to think of what would be the best thing to do. What 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 do you honestly think? Uh yes, I I haven't thought about this yet, but uh, uh Now, uh, have you been uh, through with, with all your visits? I haven't done any. No, I haven't done any. And I don't think that I will because I don't feel like it. Okay. <sighs> you want me to be there? I want you to be here, but I don't know if I should urge you to come tomorrow. No, no. You, you want me to be there? Of course. Of course I want you to be here. Yeah, but, uh, uh, I mean... More instead of well, that's what I don't know. I, I don't want you to have a bumpy ride into a thunder or a tornado. Oh, my God. I mean, they are, they are there tomorrow. They are there on Friday on well, Thursday. Um, uh, well, do you want to check with the airline and see? or, or how? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Uh, I don't know if we'll be any more ready for you the next day than we will be tomorrow. I mean... Ignore. No, you won't. We won't. <laughs> uh, David, come here a minute. I'll ask David what he thinks. I, I don't know why. Uh, Klaus doesn't have anything to do tomorrow. If he can come tomorrow, should he come tomorrow? Can we get Can we get ready for him tomorrow? You think so? Yeah, we, we suppose we could get ready. I can't move along. He can't mow the lawn till Friday. <laughs> the lawn looks okay to me. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. That's all I wanted to ask you, David. Dot. Dot. Dot is it. Goodbye. Okay. Well, do you want to think it over and call the airline and just see what what it would be involved and and um, so forth and call me back. Okay. I'll do that. Okay, because it would be silly for you to sit there and just twiddle twiddle around and not and waste time, right? Unless you have work to do. Yeah, I have to, uh, I have to think about that. Uh, uh huh. Because you might just as well be sitting here with us. We won't. Be, I don't think we're going to be very active. I just have a feeling we're not, not going to be very active because it's too miserable outside. And I have mosquito bites on my legs. And I we, I was active in the yard yesterday and got bitten quite badly. Trying to visualize where these bites may be. <laughs> They're in plain sight. <laughs> plain sight. <laughs> below the knee. Uh, 
Okay, so let me uh, let me get active. Okay. I call you back later. Hi, okay. darling. Okay. Diane. I love you. Diane. We didn't say that yet. I haven't. I say we we forgot to say that through this whole talk. Yes. We, you mean it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you'll call me back then. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye. Goodbye now. Hello? Yes. 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 Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm coming tomorrow. You're coming tomorrow? Yes. At what time? The same. 2.31. 2.31. On United. On United. Okay. Or here, Wisconsin, whatever they call it. Oh, okay. Well, that's wonderful. I've started to dust. <laughs> to drive. Well, not anymore today. I did enough today. And I'll see I'll see how I uh, feel. Or I'll see if the car is available tomorrow too. Because um, that's a factor, but but uh, one or more of us will be there then to get you tomorrow. Well, are you pleased? Uh, to be coming an extra day? I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see you. Oh, oh. Pleased, pleased is not the right expression. I love you so. I, I know you do. I just hope, I, 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 I hope it will be everything you wish. I want, I want to be everything you wish. Well, David and I will get, get moving, and this will be good for us to speed us up a little bit, Klaus. And what, what, what meal will you be having had on that plane? Breakfast, lunch. Oh yes, yes, I'll, I'll be. Well, take care of. Uh huh. Right. Yes. Well, that's that, that's don't, wonderful. Don't worry about that. That's wonderful. Okay. I see you tomorrow, then, my darling. <laughs> well, you don't have to rush off. I'm just I'm just taking everything in. I'm just kind of. Are you two mentally rearranging mentally, everything? Yeah, yeah men mentally <laughs> rearranging yeah, everything. <laughs> but we have an extra day now. And this, I think that this is good to, to take this extra day when we have the chance. Yes. For, for better or worse. Even if it, it might have worked out better the other way. We don't. We will never know. But it is better to take it and 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 have it. Right. Yes. Well, this extra day was was uh, was supposed to to uh, have you. If you visit everybody you wanted to visit, since you haven't visited anybody. The thing is, you, you, you just can't force those things. I mean, no, when you don't no. feel like it, normally I, I visit maybe after I've been here 10 days or so. <laughs> and to just plunge in, it just doesn't work right. It's it's not the right rhythm. <laughs> we're, we're just getting used to the family that's... But this this drive that we had today, we went to Dubuque to exchange curtains for their bathroom. They have redone their bathroom, and they had to take some curtains back. And it, we ate ate at a cafeteria there, and it was just very fatiguing, very fatiguing. Lillian is somebody who will go to every store, and you know that I don't like that, and you don't either, and neither does my dad. And we went from store to store to find what she wanted, and we never found it. 
And I was getting so tired. Oh, and Dad was too. Yeah. And okay. I, I don't hope that your um, memory of Dubuque uh, the ones of today. No, we didn't go to the river. We just went to the shopping centers on this tiny side of town. We didn't enter into our... Klaus and Diane's Dubuque did not happen today at all. <laughs> it was not... It was not effective. No, no, no. And the drive there was so different. Remember, you and I had fog all the way? Yes. And you told me about Rex and Morris the whole way? Yes. And we didn't see any countryside at all. <laughs> it was foggy anyway. Yes, and today I saw the countryside, but 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 the fog in Rex and Mars was better. So Well, you you will you will see. You will see it all for yourself. I mean you will see everything that I'm saying. Um I don't know exactly what I mean by that. But tomorrow you will be there. Oh, of course. Oh, yes, I'll be there, darling. 2.30. 2.30. And hopefully everything will be fine, that your luggage will arrive with you. Do you check your luggage? As long as I arrive. This is, is where we get fouled up with the luggage so often. David and I had to wait an extra hour and a half for my luggage to get there on the next plane. Hmm. And then, you know, my luggage was lost last summer. Oh, yeah. Didn't get there for a week. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm just delighted. I'm just delighted. And if somebody is with me tomorrow, don't be disturbed with you. Okay. It'll, it'll be because I have a headache or some other reason. I'll try to get better quickly. I take, I took two, just took two pills. And you're bringing the sleeping pills. Yes. And your kisses, and your touches, and your smiles. Oh, my God. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, I love you. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Are you all in Chicago? <laughs> well, well, we were there. each one. Uh, we were both doing something. Yeah. It was, huh? I was upstairs dusting the bedroom. Oh, what was it upstairs that I wanted you to look? Oh, that tie. You might look through those ties. Yeah, I already did. I don't uh, think there are any black ones. Did you didn't find anything. You found some bow ties to tie, though, didn't you? Yeah, but they're kind of odd colors. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a red one with a white stripe in it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Well, listen, uh, wh wh what do you think? Are you going to feed us? Yeah, uh -huh. we'll have well, a seat in the dining room. Why? Because it's too hot out the porch. Hot. Yeah, it's hot out in the porch, and it's lovely in here. Oh, it is. Uh huh. Well, that's fine. How would you like? To, how, would it be all right if we went and got a Sara Lee? Uh, uh. uh no, wait a minute, Sara Lee. What do you call that? Uh, carrot cake uh. and some ice cream. Uh. Whatever you say. If you would like it. Wouldn't you like it, Diane? I don't think I can. I would gain a pound of dead. Well, that's right. You, 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 you I'm shouldn't. I'm not going to have any. Well, no. um, if if uh, if you w would like it for not um, somebody did not eat their pie last night. There's two pieces of pie left. Somebody didn't eat it. Everybody ate pie. There was four of us. Man. Well, I do. There were five pieces, and there are two left. That means one person didn't eat one. Well, Must have been uh, uh, what's her name? Lillian. Lillian. Did Lillian, did you eat your pie last night? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Maybe there were six pieces, David. Oh. Uh. Oh, well, anyhow, we've got two pieces of pie left. Well, I just... Well, well, well maybe I'll just get some ice cream. Okay. Some, um, uh, we generally get, um, uh, what? Butter brickle. That sounds good. That's all, yeah, it is good. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the grocery day. You gotta, why don't you get a couple of, uh, of, uh, tuna lasagnas? Tuna lasagnas. Yeah, I get four of them. Four of them? Yeah. Tuna lasagnas. Lean cuisine. Lean, Lillian, can you remember this? 
Lean cuisine tuna lasagna. Now wait a minute, is that right? Yes. Lean cuisine tuna lo lasagna. Get them when we go after ice cream. Thank you. Tuna las. Now Lillian, you got it right? Cause I'll forget. I forgot already. Lean lean cuisine tuna lasagna. Mm-hmm. For them. Yeah, very good. Okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna hang up now. Then. No, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you pretty soon. Okay. Then okay. I'll be fine. We, we, yeah, we want to eat the uh, 6:30 if you can help it. 6:30. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that only gives you a half hour at the grocery store. Well, we won't buy our groceries. <laughs> huh? We won't buy our groceries now. We oh. won't have time. Oh, I see. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay. 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 You can bring your own ice cream over if you want it. Well, time. that's what I'm gonna go get some. Oh, just that first, huh? Well, <laughs> okay, I haven't I guess got it here, and I haven't got some lasagna here either. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello? Tell, ask David, is that tuna lasagna's got spinach and vegetables and all that kind Okay, of? just a minute. Hello? Has tuna lasagna got spinach or spinach and... Uh, vegetables and all that crap with it? Yeah, it's lean cuisine. I know that. It's a white and it says tuna lasagna. It has with something else on it. Well, it's got uh, spinach. Yeah, that's all right. Two dollars and something a piece. Uh, Whatever, pretty yeah. Big, pretty big size. Yeah, tuna lasagna. And, and spinach and vegetables. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. Diana? Yeah, hello, Diana. What? Hello. Yeah, Diane's here. Hello. Diane? Yes. This is uh, New York calling. Oh, my gosh. I'm in New York now. Oh. And, uh, oh, you scared me. Honey, darling, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> what, sorry. What's the matter? Nothing. It, you're okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I wondered if, now I bought some glop. Do you want a piece of glop for breakfast? Glop? Yeah. Apple oh. fritter. Oh, that would be good. I thought you'd like it. And now, would you like uh, uh, one cookie of uh, apple? You know, it's just soft. Oh, cookie. yeah. A couple that of would, them? That would be good. Okay, and would you like... <laughs> uh, well, we just got back from the grocery oh, store. Oh, I see. I know you, you just don't, got back. Oh, okay. I know you don't have this stuff there. Oh. Do you want a piece of melon for breakfast? No, uh, because we've got bananas. Oh, we got bananas, too. Yeah. Okay, I was going to ask you about bananas, but you ain't going to get no bananas then. Okay. Well, then you want some of this glop, then. That would be awfully good. Okay, and I'll bring you a glop, because i got to bring the car over anyway. Oh, I see. Uh, I'll bring you a glop and a couple of cookies. Wonderful. And that's what, have we got anything else that would be good? No, that's not. Lenny, Lenny, you know, you got seven up, I suppose. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that'll be awfully good. Well, okay. sorry, I'm sorry. Thank I, you. I scared you, honey. I, That's okay. It didn't scare you very long because you was on no. there and you knew I was talking. Yeah. 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 Well, I just thought of you when I bought this. When Lily and I bought this, I thought you might like it. Well, that, that was awfully sweet of you. Okay. Okay. okay I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Goodbye, Bye. then. Bye. Hello? 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 Yes? Hello? Who is it? David? Oh, hello, James. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay, I'm going to hang up, David. Okay. Hi, James. Hi, David. Hi, my sister's dad. I heard, yeah. Uh, I'm really freaked out. Amazing things happen, but now I'm all panicky again. Huh. Well, don't be panicky. I uh, uh, sent another tape today. Yeah. Or tomorrow, I mean. They're picking it up tomorrow. David? Yeah. Hi, I'm in. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I went there last night. She had trouble with her patterns, and I. She came down, and I asked her to. You know, she. I said Antoine will help her and all that, and then she had to go back and get fabric. She didn't come back tonight, and then I. I she called me, and I couldn't call her back, and then I finally called her back, and she says. She's going to go in business with this sleaze bag, Charlie. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, goodbye on the tape, is that Oh, it? I put another goodbye. Uh, it is goodbye then, huh? No. No. What is it then? I don't know. About her, man. I, I, David, I want to forget her. Oh, okay. No, I mean, it's killing me. Huh. What should I do? 
Hello? I realize I'm waking you up in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, it's, um, well, it'll work out, I don't know. But it's over with her probably, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on, David. Well, well no, I know, I, I don't know. Yes, I know. She probably wants to, to go on. How's the beach? I haven't moved yet. It's no time. Thursday morning. Oh. What does she want me? She wants you. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Should I go over there? Yeah, you have to go over and pick up your tape. Hello. Not today, though. It comes on Friday. Okay. Second day air. Okay, so just leave it alone till Friday. Yeah, I've got, yeah, that's right. Uh, I've got uh, another, oh, I put the whole Jupiter Symphony together. One, you got a, the whole shot. Yeah. It's all on one now. Dave, sometimes I feel like it's, you know, totally against me or whatever, and I'm flea-bitten, and, and uh, that I just should leave it alone, you know? Not, I don't know what to <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Right. What is it, really? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. It's... Leave it alone till Friday? Yeah. yeah. Well, no. Well, whatever opportunities right. happen at any point. Right. Opportunities happen and what? Well, just follow through. If there's any opportunity, then just... Move on it. If there isn't, then just forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, boy. Really? Yeah. My sister's friend is coming tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, today yet. I mean, it's... Uh, what like... about, I know. What about all this, please, you know, all this crap? She's, you know, she comes and she asks me, she, the laundry's killing her for six days. I call the laundry guy and get it in one day, and I help her, try to help her with a pattern, and, and she's all gone in, in this flea bit. And, you know, it's just not time yet, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Or it's just over. Should I call her and just tell her, you know, stop playing games, or... Ooh. Yeah, yeah I think something wanted. Yeah? Yeah, no playing games. Really? Oh, I'm boy. playing games. Oh, I don't know. David. I don't know. Come on. I'm just as leave it as she is and just leave it alone and forget it. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, I don't know. Come on, David. I realize it's the middle of the night. Hello. Uh, I'm in a daze. What should I do? Well, I'll just flow along with the whole deal and everything will work out. Really? Yeah, it has to because you're in this transition period. Yeah. And it'll work out. I mean, it's... But without her? It can. It, it, yeah, sure. If you wanted that, you don't want that. I, I guess I don't, really. Why don't I want that? <laughs> well, and then, but then that's fun, then. No, it's fun, but it's also excruciating, you know. When you want something and it doesn't want you, then it's excruciating. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, that's awful. Yeah. Yeah. So it's me, I want her, and she doesn't want me. Or the opposite, or what? what is it? Oh, I don't know. Come on, David. Uh, oh, dear. Please. <laughs> what is it? Just tell me, you know, say you're an asshole or something. Uh, Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, I, I, it'll work out. You, I, uh, something will happen. It'll work out. Without her, though. Well, I, well, either way, you wouldn't have her or not have her, yeah. Right. Forget about her. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. No, come on, David. Well, for a while, all right, I don't know. Oh, it drags on and on and on and on and on, and I'm pulled, and she calls me, and I respond, and then she says, fuck you, and... Yeah, good. Well, I just forget about it, then. Really? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Some other beautiful number will come into your life. 
a number, huh? A number. Yeah, okay. Forget her then, huh? Well, yeah. Don't call her. Nah, don't call. Okay, David, come on. Well, In other words, do anything I want, it still works out. It'll work out, yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello, hi. Hi. <laughs> it's not against me, is it? No. Everything will work. Really, David, come on, talk to me if it, that's the case, so I can just die with it or whatever. No, it'll work out. What about her? Well, I don't know. Really? Borderline? Borderline. <laughs> come on, David. <laughs> Well, gosh, I don't know. No, it was amazing. She had to come to me and ask me to do these things, and I do them, and she goes with this sleeves bag. What is it? Boy, that's awful, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? I don't know, James. Come on. Don't let her, don't let her take you for a ride. Don't let her take you, uh, yeah, stick up for your rights. Yeah. Don't let her use you. Yeah. Don't let her lose use you.